Nerith, VP of Marketing here at Thermit Corporation, here to show you our latest innovation of LSAM, or Large Additive Manufacturing Systems. As you can see here, we are currently printing two pieces for what would be used in the marine industry. This machine here, as you can see, as I scan around, is a 10 foot by 10 foot table starting off. This one is actually a 10 foot by 20 foot table with a 3D print gantry. And behind that on the other side is our trim gantry. Now as I walk around this machine, we have a dryer system to dry our, uh, dry our pellets is what these systems are okay so basically the material come in these Gaylords they get sucked into the dryer system and they get dried for a period of uh, at least maybe four hours um, what we're printing currently right now is ABS with 20% carbon fiber fill we can also print PPS nylon and polycarbonate materials depending on that material it will also depend on the carbon uh, fiber percentage as well so as I walk around, we also have uh, GM extraction systems. And on this side is our trim gantry. As you can see, we have tool changer underneath. We have our spindle. We have a part that's on this side, which is a fairly extensive part that we printed last week. This part is roughly uh, it's about eight feet wide, about five feet tall, and that one section probably weighs about 1,500 pounds. I'll come around on this side. Well, this machine currently has two Q-Core super controls, one to operate the trim gantry, one to also operate the print gantry. The LSAM there printing. We move around. And as you can see here, we actually printed a structure to help support the weight on this particular piece as it does come out from the center of gravity quite a bit. And here's a view of the actual print head, actually applying a bead of ABS carbon fiber material. Now I'll go through the doors here. Get a close up view of it. As you can see, the material here, these are the actual seams where we start and stop, and of course, we stagger them to help give some more strength. The 3D print head here is actually water cooled. As you can see, the fumes, uh, we're heating this material up at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, with this machine, we can actually be printing and machining all at the same time. comes back around here we'll actually get a, even a closer up view of the actual bead when it comes back to this actual part so what we're doing here is we got two parts 
Uh, the reason we're doing two parts is, is because there is a time that you need to wait before each layer is printed. So instead of just having the machine sit idle, we're actually printing two parts basically at the same time. So here's the bead here with our patented uh, wheel system behind that, compression wheel. The wheel automatically turns as it gets to a turning point, kind of like a fourth axis. Here it comes back again and it's going to finish up the bead. And it goes on to the next layer. These are basically side-by-side -side layers, as you can see. Two of them side-by-side. -side. Then we'll go back to the control system here to show you our thermographic imaging to basically allow the operator to, say, to, sh uh, to see basically the heat on each layer that's being printed. So if it's green, he can go ahead and print on it again. If it's red, then of course he wants to wait. So as you can see, this next part is all green. So we're ready to go ahead and print. And of course over here we have all of our heater controls for all the different heaters on the extruder itself and on the printhead. So that basically is uh, in a nutshell that's that's our LSAM system, large-scale additive manufacturing equipment. We're looking with this machine at producing tools, molds, pass patterns, and fixtures for numerous uh, industries such as aerospace, automotive, boating, uh, foundry work, etc. So uh, for more information, you can visit our website at www.thermo.com. You can email us at info at thermwood.com or you can call us at 1-800-533-6901. Thank you.